Hi, Colleen here. <clears throat> I just wanted to share this uh, little box with you today. I think it's really sweet and it's two of my favourite chocolates inside. Mint patties. I always like to call them peppermint patties, but they're just mint patties from Nestle. I just think they're fabulous. And they just um, fit inside this little box and just close down with a little just for you greeting on the front. But the best thing about this box is that you can actually take it and lay it flat so you can make a whole bunch of them and just have them sitting aside. That'd be great for Christmas on the table with little favours in them, uh, for, well, anything really. Um, wedding gift, wedding favours, anything you like. So we're going to be making one today and we're going to be using lemon. Now the paper we're using is, uh, let me grab it. Oh, 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 this one here, um, I've got just the bulk in it, but this is the um, Central Park, and I think it's just beautiful. So that's the one we're using today. It does come in a whole range of colours. I shall grab a book and show you. It is a gorgeous paper. There they are there, aren't they beautiful? So this is the one we'll be using today, but there's some really lovely ones in there. I think it's just fabulous. But anyway, let's get on with it. So what we'll need for the box is a piece that measures eight and a half inches by six. And then we'll also need um, two pieces. Oh, oh she was I dropped one. Two pieces that measure. Two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. I couldn't remember the size then. This is two and seven eighths by seven eighths of an inch, and you'll need four of those. And I've already pre-done them because <laughs> my tape one is nearly empty, and that's the only one I've got left. I've ordered some more, but it hasn't come in yet. Right, the stamps that we're using is stamped with love, and I love this one. I think it's just gorgeous. And we're using the just for you out of that one today. Uh, we're also using the stitched ovals and just the normal basic ovals. And we're using the two inch and the one and three quarter inch ovals out of those. And that's about it. Oh, and a little bit of bling. So let's get cracking on um, putting it together. So I'll use the big scoreboard today, just for those of you who have one. So we'll lay that in, and we're going to score this at, oh, where did I put my notes? Uh, I had them here a minute ago. Here they are. So we're going to score this at 3 inches, 4 inches, uh, 7 inches, and 8 inches. Then we're going to turn to the short side and we're going to score it at half an inch and at one and a half, at four and a half, and at five and a half. And that's all the scoring you'll need to do. Now we're going to fold and burnish all our score lines. been a very chilly morning here this morning but the sun's out now trying to show its face but my garden's all in shadow so now what we're going to do is we're going to be removing these two little rectangles here on the end we don't want those we'll just mitre those in a little bit and remove them So we're going to cut completely this, these two ends here off and then, but first of all we'll cut down everything, I'll show you. So we'll cut down everything on both sides and then we'll remove those pieces. Right, 
So this, these bits here are going to completely go. I might use my big scissors for this. So we're going to completely cut those off. I'll lay it flat in a minute so you can have a look what I've done. And then we're going to cut these little tabs off here. Mm -hmm. On both of these. Go back to my little squizzes. We're going to very carefully just take a slither out. You don't want a lot, but you just want enough that it's going to help close the box. So you do that on all four of those little flaps. to just take a tiny little wedge from here. I mean, if you want to round this corner, feel free to do so. I just can't be bothered getting the corner rounder out, to be perfectly honest. So, that's how it will look once you've cut it. So this is the back of the box, the front, side panels, and then you've got your lid pieces and that's your little bit. So what we'll do now is we're going to attach our little panels to it. Now I've already pre-done these. Like I said, I was running out of tape runner and I didn't want to use it anymore. So I've, I've used this stuff today. I don't normally use it. And that will go into the middle of the square with just a tiny little sixteenth of an inch border all the way around. <coughs> go away phone, I'm not answering you. So excuse that. It'll be fine, I've hidden it somewhere. <laughs> I'll ring them back later, whoever it is. It's probably my youngest daughter. She was telling me all about Woolies today. Have got this new soft re it's called soft recycling um, uh, packaging. So like the bags of potatoes come in, uh, all soft plastics, you know, like frozen goods, um, oh, bread, bread bags. Oh my gosh, all this stuff. So she was quite excited about that. She's always in for saving the planet. So I think that's a jolly good idea. So I'll be using that. So you pop these onto the ends. And then the last two. This seems to be taking forever. <gasps> I prefer my tape runner. Like I said... My little darling's nearly out. And I didn't realise I didn't have any more. So I quickly ordered some more, but they won't be until this week sometime. Put these ones here at the top and the bottom. I just thought this was a nice little, quick little, simple box. If you wanted to, you know, have something for a friend. I mean, you could put coconut ruffs in these if you wanted to. Personally, I can't stand them. Chocolate and coconut is a disgusting combination, but some people love them. But yeah, so they will fit inside it. Anyway, so that's all done. Now we'll just take <laughs> a piece of this and pop down there. that off. Now any bits that hang over just push them back on themselves. Fold that over. Fold our little front section over to match. Give that a good press down. Yep, okay, phone. 
and now oh, I know what I forgot to do. Oh, I need to get my little punch. Where do I put that? If you have the little, um, oh, I can't grab it. If you have a little round, I should have done this beforehand. You should do this beforehand. So put that in. And just you're just nipping out just a little finger pull. Do that on both ends, but I should have done that before I made the box up. We live and we learn. So if you've just got a one inch hole punch, just do that. Now tuck in the corners and that bit should fit in nicely. Take your little gift. Drop them inside, close it up. Didn't I trim you? No, I didn't. Come on. There we are. Turn it over. Now, oh gosh, I've got a mess here now. Excuse me, I'll clean this up. I can't stand it. Right. Everything out of the way. Now I'm going to stamp my little greeting and I'm going to stamp that in Pacific ink, Pacifica ink because that's the other colour that's in this box. I actually rather like it in the um I always count to five when I stamp because then I know I'm going to get the perfect coverage. Oh, oh, oh. A couple of little glue dots on the back, a little 3D foam dots I mean. I'm off out to lunch shortly, that's why I thought I'd quickly hurry up and do this and then I can go out. Woohoo! And seeing as it's public holiday and I don't have the girls, I'm really enjoying it. I do love them, don't get me wrong, I really do love my little granddaughters. But every now and then, just one extra day off is just like a real treat. God, don't that all crooked, I hope I can lift that back off. There we go. Tear this off the back. Pop that down in the bottom corner, like so. Better shut that up, I'm likely to make one hell of a mess with it. And add some bling bling. So I'll put one on there. I don't know if I want it up the side, I just, no, I think I might leave it just like that. I don't know if I like those two up there, they sort of don't float their boat very much. But like I said, it's a really good size little box for just poking uh, mint patties, coconut rough, I don't know, probably um, four of the, um, what do you call them? Oh. <laughs> Chunky bars, the little chunky bars. You could probably fit six of those in there quite easily. So there we are. It's just a quick, easy little gift to give to somebody. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to know all the measurements and sizes, just pop over to my blog at colseyscraftycorner.com. No, it's not. It's colseyscraftycorner.wordpress.com. <laughs> Idiot. Um, and uh, uh, look for them all there. You'll find everything, photos, the works. Thanks very much for um, joining me today. Till next time, keep on creating and bye for now. Mm -hmm.